Okay, so by now you've all gone to your eSchool site and clicked on SkyDrive, which is now called OneDrive, and you've hit the sync button because you've installed that application I directed to you to uh, on uh, Wednesday. Um, so you can go ahead and hit sync and sync now, and it will just make sure that all the things that are on OneDrive up in the cloud is on your local file um, on your hard drive. And so if I click over to my Windows Explorer, and so there's Windows Explorer there, you'll see you have that little cloud with OneDrive at Appleby College. It might say your name, it might, but it's a little cloud icon um, showing you that those files are also stored up in uh, servers somewhere around the world. Um, they're distributed around so they will never get lost and they're always backed up somewhere. And you'll notice that I have a, a file, a folder called archive, you don't have that, but you definitely have a folder called shared with everyone. And you have a whole bunch of blank space. You actually have 25 gig of space. So what you want to do is you want to go to your documents folder and you want to take all the files that are sitting here and you want to move them over into your OneDrive. Because once they're in your OneDrive, they're off your laptop and they're in the cloud. So when you get a new laptop, all you have to do is hit sync and it'll all come down to your new laptop. So there's no backing up process, there's no um, getting an extra external drive or what have you. You can just go to your OneDrive, sync, and down it comes to your uh, new laptop. You can also do this at home. So if you have a home computer uh, that's Windows, you can hit the sync button and you will be able to sync your, uh, your files down to your home desktop. Uh, so I'm going to take my documents and I'm just going to move it over into the OneDrive and so I'll move it over into the OneDrive and move it over into the OneDrive. I'm not going to move my Outlook files. Those will have to back up the old way. I'm not going to move my OneNote notebooks. Those are going to have to move uh, the old way as well. But any of my documents, my Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you name it, uh, movie files, I can move into the OneDrive and uh, work with it just like I do um, regular uh, regular files and folders. I can create a new folder and I can call it mathematics and I can put all my folders of math all my files of mathematics in that folder. I also have this folder that says shared with everyone. So if some of my documents I want everyone to have, so for example how to be a better mathematician, I think everyone should have a copy of it. I can put that in my OneDrive and then when it's in my OneDrive, I can actually put it into my shared with everyone. And that means everyone has access to it. They can't edit it, but they can access it. They can copy it and make changes to it, but the file I have, everyone can see uh, and no one can edit or delete. If I go back to my OneDrive, you notice that it doesn't show here. It takes a minute to sync and it, you have to refresh the page and there it is. There's my folder of mathematics, there are my three files, and it's all stored and saved up in the cloud. And it's backed up so I don't have to worry about it. The question that Miss Dupuy had was, how do I see what another person has shared with everybody? That's a really great question. If you go over here to the search button, and let's type Miss Dupuy, her name's Donna, and there she is there. I could just look at people, and there's Miss Dupuy there, and there's all our other people who are similar to Donna. And I go to Miss Dupuy, and she shared some files with me, so you sort of see those. But under Documents, these are the files she shared with everyone, which is Upper School Cabaret. And so she shared this movie file with everyone in the school, and everyone can go to that her site and look at that file. Okay, that's how you work with Shared with Everyone. Let me know if you have any questions, and if anything doesn't work, let me know immediately. Thanks very much.